Hello, welcome to episode 7 of the Knitted Pumpkin Podcast. My name is Ashley and this is a podcast about knitting. Uh, we've had a few new subscribers since I last recorded, so welcome, it's nice to meet you. If you haven't already, um, you can go over to our Ravelry group, I will link it down below, and enter to win our 100 subscriber giveaway. You'll win this ball sacks by Steel City Stitcher and these gorgeous enamel pens by Twelm Print and I've got some rainbow mini skeins from Mothy and the Squid. So if you haven't subscribed, that would be great if you could subscribe and like um, my channel and get yourself entered. I am dying to give that away to somebody. So um, anyway, I actually have a few finished objects this week. I will show you this one first. Let me just grab my sock blockers here. So I finished off my Hermione's Everyday Socks, the Halloween ones. And so this yarn, the main yarn here, is by Lolo Did It, and that's her Hippo for Halloween. There we go. There, so that's her Hippo for Halloween. And then this was a mystery skein that I found in my stash. I have no idea where it's from, what it's called. And then this purple here is from Long Dog Yarn. And I have the, it's called Epic. I left it twisted up, but you can see that there. And here's the tag for Lolo Did It, Hippo for Halloween, and that's on her plush sock. And so I did 64 stitches on 2.5 millimeter needles. And then a Fish Lips Kiss heel. And I'm excited to wear these for Halloween. So I've got those finished this week and I just, I don't know, I just decided to add a little bit of stripe to it. I th think I started the heel in the purple but I thought it'd be more fun to add the orange and I didn't want a chance doing a stripe on the heel because I just did, was scared it wouldn't work out. So I've got those finished. And then I finished off my Christmas in July socks. And surprisingly, I actually managed to finish these before the end of July, which I didn't think I was going to do. And this yarn is by West Yorkshire Spinners. And there's some BFL in this yarn. So it's not soft, it's definitely durable though. And this was their, like it's the heel. It's a color that went with it, but it was a separate ball. And so here's their ball band. There we go. And that's 75, 25, and there is some BFL in it, 35%. So I finished those off. And this is also a 64 stitches, 2.5 millimeter needles. And I did these ones toe up, which I don't typically do but I have been enjoying it more lately, so I've done it on a few socks recently. And so I did toe up, then did the fish lips kiss in the contrasting, and then I just did the folded over cuff for those. I like the way it fits for, I, every time I've cast off a ribbed sock on toe up, I just hate the look of it, so I tend to do fold it over. And so my last finished and favorite, get these on the blockers here, this is from Row One Yarns uh, subscription. If you haven't checked that out, you get, you should, it's a bag you get, it says Row One Yarns on it, and there is 20 mini skeins inside. She always includes a little stitch marker and a treat. And all the details on the yarn. So she 
collaborates every month with an indie dyer and this one was the flying kettle and so all the details are written for each um, each colorway there and they're all labeled on them. I have them all caked. Well, this is all I have left from these socks So I will show these to you So I did Scrappy socks and I'm in love with them. So I did these toe up two at a time and I can honestly say Two at a time is not for me. I don't know why I just, I get stuck and I don't want to, like, I loved working on these so much. And it was almost like the two at a time took away some of that for me. But, so I did each stripe is six, um, six rounds. And I just randomly pulled them out of my bag. And since I did these toe up, I did the folded over. And so what I did is I grabbed a color and I did 16, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I did 12 additional rows in just one color and then folded it over so that it was two stripes worth for the ribbed. And I just did the heels in one color as well. These were so much fun to make and the yarn is gorgeous to work with so I think I'm probably going to check out some of her yarn and get a skein of it. I think this one here was like mint chocolate chip and I love it. I don't think I have any mint yarn so I'm probably going to check that out. So yeah check it out monthly subscription. I believe there's a sign up um, promo code for your first month. But it's definitely fun, and it's a different dyer every month, so. That was all I had for finished objects. Works in progress, which is one of them in my hand. Grab that. Okay, so this is in my bag from the Scrappy Thread, and it is a Christmas project, so I put it in my Christmas bag. And I don't have a whole lot done since the last time I showed it from here up and my little corner of craft Santa Claus so I am putting this on the front burner now and I want to get this done before it gets cold which is hopefully sooner rather than later because this heat and humidity is killing me so this is ugly Christmas sweater or ugly Ugly Sweater Party, and that's by Wool Baron. I don't think I have the ball band with me. No, I don't, but that's fine. And I'm keeping it in a ball sack from Steel City Stitcher. She did um, once for Christmas in July. And I am going to get this done. It's going to be an infinity scarf. So I'm just going to knit until I'm almost out of the yarn and I did a provisional cast on so that way I can pull this out and these stitches will be live sorry <clears throat> and then I'll kitchener the two ends together and then wear it as a scarf I think it'll be so much fun and these are my Haya Haya needles and they are 2.5 millimeter And I've got my scrappy thread. I felt like they matched pretty well. My notions pouch in there. I always have a scrappy thread notions pouch on the go. So I'm hoping to get that done soon. It's just straight knitting, so it shouldn't take me too long. I'm gonna put some time in on that this week. My next work in progress is in my Stitch Life Bags bag <laughs> and it's movie themed with popcorn liner. I love this bag. And this is my Made in the Shade shawl by Brandy Belton, Brandy of Long Dog Yarns. And it is gorgeous. I just started fading in the next color. So it's four colors in total and I cannot wait to have this blocked out. 
The lace is gorgeous. And I've got a little, you can see that it's a hot dog cupcake. And that is from Clay Croissant. You can find her on Etsy and on Instagram under that, I believe. And then I've got a little truffle shuffle sheep there. Glittery. And so I think I was, yeah, I was at the sheep the last time I showed you guys. So I've come this far now from the sheep up and started the next color. So the color I'm currently working off of is almost gone now. And this one, what was the color on this? Oh, this one was Madeline got a makeover. So there's not much left on that. And then the one I just started working in is mermaid hair. And this one is my favorite. I think I'm going to have to get another skein or two of this because I really want socks out of this and just one skein shawl as well. I love this yarn. It is so gorgeous. Just the different shades of purple and then flecks of darker purples. I'm in love. And then the final color on it is this tonal purple, which I'm sure the camera will not pick up, but it is gorgeous as well. And this one is by Leading Men Fiber Arts. It's called People Eater. So the other colors are all by Long Dog Yarn. And then that final one is by Leading Men Fiber Arts. <clears throat> Sorry. And so I'm doing this on a four millimeter needle. I think the pattern calls for 3.5. I didn't have any 3.5 around and I usually do shawls on four millimeter anyway. So I just substituted, but I love, love this. I cannot wait to finish it. So it's probably gonna get a lot of love this week too. And my final work in, whoops, sorry. My final work in progress. This is in a project bag from Little Skein in the Big Wool. Don't know if you can see her tag there. And this was one she designed for Rhinebeck last year. I just recently got it. And I've got a little niffler hanging out on the side there. And... This is all tangled. This is just a broken rib stitch sock. So I did two by two rib for 15 rows, I think. And then I started with a three by one every other round. And this yarn is Knit Picks. I don't have the ball band anymore. It was their Knit Picks Stroll hand paints. And this is in something like Harvest or something fall themed. My husband picked out the yarn and these are gonna be socks for him. He needs more socks for work. So I just wanted to do something basic. I didn't, I don't like making him like patterned socks for wearing to work because he will eventually destroy them. The patterned socks are his weekend wear. And I'm using a ball sack, little sheeps, so I thought it would match nice. <laughs> and I've also got my Scrappy Thread Notions pouch in there. This purple one was what my parents gave me in the matching. DPN Cozy for my 30th birthday and I love it. So that was all I had for works in progress as well. There's there's more but they haven't gotten any love this week so. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you. This is hilarious. So this is the first socks I ever knit. The tension is horrible. 
there's hair all over it, sorry, but there's major laddering. And they are just <laughs> ridiculous. But I committed to making them and I did. There's no shape to them at all, even though I did shaping. And so this was a Patton's Croy I had gotten at my local box craft store, Michael's. And so I went in, determined to knit these, and I got a Patton's Croy, or a Patton's pattern book, different socks. So the, I'll just fold this over. The pattern I used was just the basic sock. I did not follow gauge at all. This was actually the first time I'd ever knit in the round. I had, I just bought needles, some yarn, and I went for it. And surprisingly, surprised myself and managed to knit them. And that, this is what started the addiction. I ended up putting puffy paint on the bottom so I didn't slide around and now I just wear them as slippers but yeah so this I'll show you compared to this is my gauge now so there is quite a difference <laughs> they're fun to look back on I can't even tell you how many stitches I dropped on this and you can actually like see right through the hole where I joined it. The laddering took a little while to figure out. Um, I honestly, I looked up that many videos and tutorials, how to stop doing it and ended up coming up with something on my own that seemed to work for me. And I think because I taught myself on uh, double pointed needles, they'll always be my favorite. I enjoy magic loop, but double points is what I always come back to. So yeah, these were crazy. But they started the obsession. And I actually, I really love this book for basic sock patterns. I think... Yeah, there's quite a few different ones in here. This is great for a beginner, I think. And they also have one that Patton's put out and it's mittens. And I did some mittens out of that too as well. So if you're looking to start knitting socks, I would personally give this a go because I did. <laughs> anyway, that's my adventure into knitting. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, rest of your week, and we'll see you again soon. Bye.